I think when you're looking for models and you're trying to find the right model, it helps if a model has actually got a bit of an interest in the craft of painting. And I think there's always a better connection with the painter and the artist if there is that connection. Um, and obviously there's a lot of artists painting portraits of people they've never met before. But I think then it comes down to what the artist likes the look of more or whether there's a statement they want to make about that particular model. I have a fairly disciplined approach. I follow an order of visual importance. Um, but I have to say that the subjects that I choose, I choose them because of the interest in the light that appears around the subject, whether it's a landscape, a portrait or a still life. It's, it's about the light, the play of light on the person or the objects, that's what I'm chasing. So my process starts off with very bold movements with the brush, fairly broad areas, blocks of, of lights and darks. Um, I'd say that 95% of what I do is completed fairly quickly and the last 5% is the hard slog where that requires a lot more um, more considered management and more precise movement with the brush and control. But 95% it, it has to happen quite quickly or else I'm not really in the right you know, gamut where I should be. If it's not corrected 95%, there's no point going any further. So. Well, when they're models that I know, they have certain characteristics that are typically them, where some like to talk with their hands a lot, so the hands will be a part of the portrait. Other people are very, um, a lot maybe less animated, so it becomes more of an up, upright shot. Um, this young girl um, is 17, and she has a fragility about her, and a very that she speaks very, with a very considered manner. So there was a certain um, awareness of her own mortality in herself in the way she presents herself to me, which I really admired. And then when you add the red hair, then that adds the length to the portrait. So it had to be full length. I wanted to show her porcelain skin because often when you're painting older people, you don't have the privilege of looking at flawless skin without sun damage. So. Um, just seeing her when she walked in the studio, it was very obvious. She wasn't walking out that door without me grabbing her for a portrait. But um, she didn't realise probably to the extent to which I was going to become involved with her. And I, I don't know whether the expression still exists about having a muse, but I guess Emma's now become a model for me that she's become my muse and I'll probably be using Emma for my, a lot of portraits in the future as well. So.